So, I'm going to continue on with this kind of theme I'd like to keep going with where I'll do one Dismania, the CD1, <clears throat> one MVP Axiom Your Streamline, so I'll do the Wrath, and then I'll do some other miscellaneous. We'll do the Infinite Dynasty today. And we're gonna... Alright, so this first shot, <clears throat> we're just going to try to put it on Heiser, hang it out over an OB road, and so we're going to start off with the Wrath. Um, <clears throat> that one, immediately out of the hand on a steep Heiser, has no ability to come out of it, even throwing it about 360, 380, um, but good reliable Heiser. Um, the CD1, you see a bit more on maybe a little less Heiser, it does flip up and carry out about 30 feet further than the Wrath did and then you see it have that big swing at the end and then just die into the ground. So it's a bit less stable. And then the Dynasty, which is not what I was expecting it to be this much different, but I threw that one with this much hyzer and that one flipped up almost flat and pushed out for a long time and just stalled up in the air and then finished way out left. But then we went into a turnover shot and starting with the Wrath, knowing it was gonna be a bit more stable, um, I put it on a bit more of a steep angle and you see it holds it really nice and doesn't just turn over, but it being pretty stable, it actually flexes out over the inbounds and then comes back out into the road. So the CD1, uh, just being a little more familiar with it, threw it out flat slash little Annie, pushes out and then completely turns out and over big wide turn and then um, flexes out right into the uh, inbounds. Whereas the Dynasty on almost the same Anheuser line as the CD1 and it starts to turn over significantly faster um, and you see they just hit and cut roll back out of bounds so um, and then I went into what I think is my most crucial shot for a disc that should fill this slot which is a low ceiling flip up and then flex out kind of shot. And so the Wrath, I didn't think at all that it would flip up, so I threw it flat, but a little too low. I wanted to give it some low Anheuser because um, I knew it wouldn't flip up, but I just didn't give it the greatest like showing on that shot. Whereas the CD1, you see I didn't actually give it enough, but it did get out of the low ceiling, flex out and up, little nose up, a little lower and it would have flexed farther right and turned like I would have wanted it to and then flexed back in but that's okay still the same idea whereas the Dynasty on almost the same shot went straight through the tunnel flipped up like I expected started to have that turn like I would have wanted um, but then never actually came back not bad it's just all three of these are already feel filling different type slots and then uh, we went into just torquing them, giving them as much as I could, <clears throat> and the Wrath, you see, like, throw that one flat with a little bit of Annie, has no really understability to push into a turn, that .5 may just be for show, um, but it just goes straight and then finishes hard left, um, whereas the Dynasty, I threw it nose up, but even still, throwing it on Heiser nose up, it still flipped up really straight and a, with a slight turn, a little better nose angle, it would have flipped up and then turned out and flexed. Um, and then the CD1, uh, same idea, flip up, pushes straight for a long, long time. And then with a, maybe a slight turn, um, unless I put not enough hyzer on it and then finishes out left. I think for me, this is a really good straight tunnel, not don't want a lot of movement left and right kind of shot. And then <clears throat> lastly, which is not something again, I'd use this slot for, but I did a forehand. And you see the Wrath didn't put any hyzer on it and it just pushes out straight and um, but it does push out pretty far and then just dumps out right. The Dynasty, I hyzer flipped it flat but way too low. I didn't want to nose up so I kept it too low. And then it flipped up flat and then just kind of pushed forward straight into the ground. So a little higher and you would have seen it just push up flat and carry for a long way which is practically what the CD1 did. Uh, I just threw it a bit higher. I overcompensated, so I hyzer flipped it up, and that thing pushed out a good ways, about 340, 350, even with that angle, and then uh, finished out right. But it's just too touchy for me for a forehand like that, so maybe people who, maybe like a max 300 foot forehand, this is a really good, just straight, not too much movement kind of disc. And so my overall thoughts, and how they feel is just like I've said before this CD1 C line plastic uh, brand new it feels pretty good um, it's starting to get a little thrown but it's not feeling any less uh, grippable than let's say the Wrath and this Neutron plastic 
Neutron plastic feels good and grippy, feels really good. And then this C-Line Dynasty, it actually is a lot less grippy than even the C-Line uh, CD1. And then when it comes to the rims, look at that. And the Dynasty, it looks a lot flatter, way, le way more gradual. The CD1 has a slightly steeper grade and then the Wrath just drops down hard. Um, I think they actually, for me, if I were to have them all, fill three different spots in a bag. Um, this being a more straight, like, probably wide open, want to throw about 400, like, uh, not much further, but don't want a lot of turn and not super hard fade at the end. This would be a pretty, like, just nice, straight, narrow, don't want too much turn and also don't want too much fade, which the Wrath would have too much fade, pushes into a tunnel and then flips up straight for quite a while and that's where something like this would be good to go into a tunnel and then for it to flex out at the end and then finish into a turn so that's my thoughts you tell me what you guys think um, and uh, see you guys next time